the white seahorse it was made threatened in 2019 so there's not many of them left and they're a real focus for, for us at the moment um, in marine conservation in Australia. Protecting biodiversity and threatened species is an essential part of what we plan for in our marine projects. They've got intrinsic value and they live, unfortunately for them, on all of the man-made assets that are in, in the local area. They prefer living on jetties and pylons and tidal pools. When we need to repair or replace these structures, we have to figure out how to protect the seahorses that call them home. So we draft up that management plan and the management plan's got actions in there for how to protect these little guys. With the seahorse hotels, we're perhaps rediscovering how to work alongside nature in an innovative way. Uh, we fabricate the hotels in-house, um, we install them with the scientific divers that we got on the team, and then we leave them in for about three months to get all the nice turfing algae and biofowl and little nice growths that the seahorse like on them. Then within 24 hours before the construction starts, we go and jump in the water. It's really fantastic to see that there's already seahorse living there before we've actually moved them there. So it shows you that it does work because they're already going there when they've got beautiful seagrass around them, the other tidal pool asset that they're living on, but they're already calling it home. By actually working alongside nature, what we're finding is that nature is rewarding us. We can achieve a much more climate conscious kind of infrastructure. Today, for example, the work that we're doing, that's a, that's a love job. You know, it's one that we can go away and walk away feeling fantastic and get that lovely rosy feeling. There's a huge push at the moment to be part of nature restoration jobs, coastal wetland change, protecting threatened species, and Stantec is at the forefront of that.